G'day and welcome back to another pen review with the Eccentric Electrician. Uh, in this video I'll be reviewing another um, platinum pen. Um, this one's the Carbon Desk Pen. Um, it's basically designed to be a pen for your desk. It's not something that you normally, I guess you could stick it in a top shirt pocket. But it'd probably look a little, little bit odd being so long. Um, this is ba basically how it comes um, in a package, nothing real fancy. Um, but yeah, so I'll go through that and then I'll mention uh, the options that you can, or the option of buying a desk stand for it. Um, nothing real fancy about this cap, it's just basically there to protect the um, nib. Um, it's a bit faceted at the base there. And you come around and you've got your platinum symbol, platinum, carbon ink pen made in Japan. So these pens are designed to work with the um, platinum carbon ink specifically, which is a permanent ink which basically has, I guess, particulates in it. And it's a um, uh, wet water resistant ink that's quite good. Um, you pull the cap off, it's just a push on, slips on, pulls off to protect the nib. It's an inlaid nib, um, gold coloured, steel nib. Uh, I believe they come in two different sizes. I believe there's a extra fine and maybe a medium. Uh, this is the extra fine, which is quite nice. Um, but yeah, so it's quite a thin pen, comes up to your little arm. Um, gold part here where it splits apart then you've got the very long tapered barrel of a typical desk pen you unscrew the barrel and I've got a converter in there that it came with which is the carbon ink converter uh, sorry the carbon ink um, uh, cartridge you can put a converter in here um, you just need a um, platinum converter in it uh, holds a decent amount of ink. You can't use this as a eyedropper converted pen because of the metal here and because in the end of this you might be able to see there it's actually holes in there um, so you wouldn't be able to use it anyway. Uh, quite a nice pen. I've found something quite unusual because I use this as a desk pen sitting next to my computer um, and I found that even though it sits in the desk pen holder which I'll show in a minute it doesn't seal up so it's exposed to air my main concern with this was with the carbon ink and it being exposed to air is that it would dry up and not work um, well I've had this on my desk for a couple of months using it a little bit here and there and um, not once have I had it not work on me or dry up so I'm quite impressed I don't know if that's because of the ink that's in it uh, the platinum proprietary um, carbon black or whether it's because uh, the type of nib or to do with it being um, upright but yeah I haven't had this dry out on me once which is really impressive um, I quite like platinum brand pens because I've never had any of them dry up on me yet uh, the platinum balance um, the platinum carbon desk pen platinum 3776 which I, in my previous videos I've shown I own three of them now um, platinum seems to be a very good brand with very good nibs and a very good quality control uh, this pen is about 12 US dollars um, from uh, Goulet Pens, uh, but if you want the base, the base is extra. This is the base here, um, fully articulated pen holder. Um, that's $20 extra, um, but if you're going to use it as a desk pen, it's well worth the um, purchase, just so you can put it in. The base is... Um, the base weighs over 100 grams, I'm not too sure of the exact weight, um, but you basically just drop your pen in the top there like that and it's done. Um, quite a nice little design, it just fits in, nice and tight, or not even tight, just sits in there and you can have it sitting on your desk. Uh, yeah, sorry, I've just dribbled some ink everywhere. Not too sure where I dropped that from. Uh, but yeah, so nice pen, good for a desk pen. I haven't had it dry out at all. It's a very fine nib. Um, so if you don't like fine nibs or you press too hard, you may not enjoy it too much. Um, but, you know, I've generally a heavy hand and I find it quite a decent nib to use anyway. Uh, some dimensions for it. 
with this cap on. It's uh, 175 millimeters. Uncapped, it's uh, 170 millimeters, so it's still a fairly large size pen. Uh, it doesn't post, obviously. Uh, grip diameter goes is 10 mil and goes up to about 11 mil towards the barrel. Uh, the weight uh, with the cap is 11 grams. <coughs> Sorry about that. And without the cap, it's about 9.3 grams. Um, nice little pen, well worth the buy. Uh, great nib on it. If you want something extra fine and something you can have on your desk to uh, just write the odd permanent document or the permanent signature line, definitely recommend it. And getting it with the desk um, hot base is quite nice as well. Looks all quite nice together. Bit of gold on there. Something a little bit classy. Uh, yeah, I love this pen as well. I'm going to keep it on my desk and use it regularly. And uh, I'll do a writing sample. Cheers. Okay, so this is a writing sample for the uh, Platinum Desk Pen. Platinum Carbon Desk Pen. Uh, the ink is Platinum Carbon Black and it's a cartridge. The nib is an extra fine steel nib. Uh, a bit of a writing sample. Oh. Um, obviously, this being such a fine nib, you need to be quite gentle on the page, or you can probably hear my writing. I'm a little bit heavy handed, uh, so it is scratchy a little bit, but that's my fault, not the pen's fault. A uh, bit of quick scribble writing. Uh, the little skip here was me, I lifted the pen off the page. Aside from that, it's um, not had any issues anywhere on there. Um, it's a very nice nib for that. Um, I haven't had any issues at all with this pen drying up or with it skipping or any of those sorts of issues. Uh, platinum quality is, seems to be quite good. There are quality controls good as well. Uh, flexing. That's about all you're going to get. It's not really any flex in it, but then... Like I said, you don't really want that with a um, extra fine nib anyway. Uh, reverse writing. You can. Uh, it's actually incredibly scratchy and I've got paper in the nib there. Um, but it's no finer than you know normal writing with the pen, so you wouldn't bother about it. It's an incredibly fine pen already. Uh, wetness. Despite being quite a fine nib, um, it does have a bit of wetness to it, so it's quite nice. Uh, lays down a nice clean line with a bit of ink. Um, I quite like this pen. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep it on my um, desk next to my computer, so when I need to write or sign documents, I'll probably use this, uh, especially on you know lower quality paper. Um, so it's quite a nice pen. I can definitely recommend picking one up. Uh, platinum are great pens. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.